Amen. Happy first day of September. Amen. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Amen. Welcome, everybody, to the New Beginnings Amen. Church Amen. of the Big Ben. Amen. A church you can call home. Amen. Yes. And the church alive is worth yes. the drive. Yes. church alive yes. is worth the walk. <laughs> Amen. The church alive is worth coming to. Amen. Amen. Yes. What we need to hear these days is the word. Amen. Yes. We need the word and not just something that's just going to keep us, uh, uh, you know, so so. Same. But anyway. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. You prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. We want to welcome all those of you that are watching or uh, joining us by audio video. Prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. Amen. So, praise God. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Yes. Amen. Nos quiere bendecir. Animar y cambiar y corregir. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive. Grab your source by, by church and say it like you mean it. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. Excuse me. I am. Let's start all over again. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be saying, Jesus. You know this, you know this, the battlefield is the mind, yes, amen, is. and the enemy cannot make you do anything, but he can put thoughts there, uh -huh. amen, and if you don't renew your mind constantly, you could just fall and go uh -huh. back, fall back to what it was before, yeah. and you don't want to do that, so we yeah. want to keep our minds renewed to what the word of God says, because he tells us to, amen, because the enemy is busy, we said it so many times, you know, uh, full time, we're no match. Part time Christians, no match for a full time devil. That's right. And he stays, he stays full time. So we need to stay full time. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Let the word bless you. I want to read this to you. We're going to be talking about a passionate believer. Uh -huh. A passionate believer. I think there was a movie out a few years back that was called The Passion of the Christ. Uh -huh. Amen. Jesus was passionate about what he, what it, what, what he came to do. Amen. Since he. He knew his mission. His father gave his mission. He says, for God so loved the world. He's saying his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, when Jesus left heaven to come into this world, he was passionate about what his father sent him to do. Yeah. And we must be passionate about what God wants us to do. Yeah. Amen. And don't say, well, I can't. Because the word of God says, I can do yes. all things all the, through Christ who strengthens yes, us. Right. One of the main things we're going to be talking about, and we talk about it all the time, is controlling your words and your actions. Because words, he says, uh, in, in the Psalms 118, 24, it says that, uh, excuse me, Psalms 18, 21, mm -hmm. says that there's uh, life and power, or death and life and the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. It means there's death and life in your words. Yes. Oh, yeah. And you control those words. Uh -huh. Okay? We have, we can do all things through Christ. Well, I couldn't control myself. Yes, you can. Yeah. Because I was a cussing champion before I came to Christ. <laughs> oh, boy. And you don't hear me cuss now. <laughs> no. Amen? So I control before you shoot out anything, before you shoot your guns, <laughs> you're always uh, careful what you're target is. Yes. Amen? Yeah. And I always guard my words. Mm -hmm. And you can do the same thing. Amen? Guard those words because those words are carriers of life or death. Yeah. And whatever you sow, whatever you plant, mm -hmm. is planted in your life. Yes. And it's coming back to you. Mm -hmm. Not them, but you. Amen? So we yeah. gotta be selective right. of those words we speak. Amen? Yeah. Woo! Hallelujah, I got Lord. a word ahead of myself. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I wanted to say this. <laughs> I wanted to say this. <laughs> Did you wear your shouting clothes? Yeah. Did you wear your uh, praising clothes? Amen. We got to do this on a daily basis. You know, hey, hallelujah. We know in the world, we got so many things to shout about. Oh, yeah. And the world is just so happy by so many things, you know, sporting oh. events, whatever. No concerts, whatever it is. You know, we, we just get up and get so excited. <laughs> and we jump and shout and we raise our hands and and. and and that's it. Oh. We, we, we come to church and we're so quiet as mice. You know, we don't, we don't, <laughs> we don't do anything. We don't even get excited. You know, hey, you know what? It's okay when you come to church. It's okay yes. when, you, when you get before him. 
and let your emotions show. Yes. Sometimes yes. by tears, showing tears, you know. Yes. Sometimes by raising your hands and bowing before the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Yes. Sometimes getting on your knees, mm. you know. Sometimes just laying before him. Yes. Amen. Yes. All these things, you know, we can do. Mm -hmm. And uh, be excited about and passionate about uh, being believers for him with yes. an attitude of gratitude. Yes. Well, we've been talking about attitudes. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Who passionate believers with an attitude of gratitude? Jesus is saying, I want you to love, obey, and serve me with passion mm -hmm. every day of your life with an attitude of gratitude, always giving thanks and yeah. praise. Amen? Amen. And you know, I'm going to read to you if, uh, if you, uh, in Facebook, I have. In my timeline, I have what I put out in a scripture break. And let me read this to you. It says, stir up this morning. This is this morning. When you feel empty and you feel you don't have what God is calling you to do, the word of God clearly commands you to handle those same situations in your life. Stir up the gift inside of you. Mm -hmm. It's already there. Everything you'll ever need to accomplish what God has called you to do has been placed inside of you. But only you can do the stirring up. Right. Only you right. can do the stirring right. up. On, Amen. Man. That gift that's in me. I'm not going to wait until I feel stirred up. I'm going to stir up in faith. I'm, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. You know, when we was kids, we used to take a can of Coke just like this and just stir it up. And then by fun, you know, we, we just had so much fun just running up to somebody, brother or sister or a friend or somebody, and just open it up and see that Coke just fly all over them. What and that way. was fun. What a way. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? This body, this, this person, you know, this person, you, okay, you, are a child of God and you stir you she says I've got this gift in you you got to stir it up yourself uh -huh. you know stir it up and you know when you stir yourself up you let it out when, when yeah. you open your mouth and you start letting the word of God out it says out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water not uh -huh. dead it says living water yeah. Yeah. amen and you the you you're that blessing going somewhere uh -huh. to happen for somebody yeah there's a lost world and yeah. you're the good news going somewhere to happen for somebody. Uh, you know, today is some day of somebody's day of salvation. Yeah. And you brought it to them. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lord. Lord. Amen. Anyway, well, let's get going. Um, open, well, Open your Bible. You can start opening your Bible to Psalms uh, 100. But passion is being enthusiastic. Passion is being excited. Yeah. Passion is being zealous for God. All Amen. Right, yeah. And you show it. And you know you show it. You have a smile on your face. People see you and say, well, I want what you got. You know, the world out there is passing around these drugs that get you high and kill you. Oh, yeah. You know, people come around and want what you got. Uh -huh. But why not bring around the greater one, the yeah. most high, and get high and no side effects except be set free. Right. Amen. Be set free. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you can Lord. open your Bibles to Psalm 100. We're going to read there. Mm. I know we, I think we read it last week, but that's okay. We can read this on a daily basis. Daily basis. Amen. Praise Amen. God. And it says this. He's talking to us now. He says, <clears throat> make a joyful noise uh -huh. unto the Lord, all ye lands. Uh -huh. Amen. Passionate. Be passionate. Joy. Uh -huh. That joy of the Lord is your strength. Serve the Lord with gladness, yes. with joy, with passion. Uh, come before his uh, presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God, is he that made us and not we ourselves. Uh -huh. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Into into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise be thankful be passionate unto him and bless his name yes. for the lord is good his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations did you bring your shirt did you wear your shopping clothes amen <laughs> you can be excited about serving him yeah. there's no sadness about serving him right. it's about being happy it's about being excited yeah. nehemiah 8 10 says what the joy of the lord is it's your strength, strength. Amen. amen hallelujah so hey you don't need to go around uh, sad anymore. 
Get rid, of, get, 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 get rid of that frown, you know, what runs people off. Plus, it makes you look bad, you know. <laughs> Just turn that frown upside down All and right. put that smile on your face. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Psalms 118, 24 says this. This is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. We, or I, will rejoice and be glad in it. I wrote it this way. This is the new day yeah. the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is about you. This is why it's so important that you renew your mind because if you keep hearing all this sad news, all the bad news, all the killings and everything's going on, you're going to be so upset. Ain't nothing to be uh, happy about. But you got to renew yourself with the word of God. Yes. To know what the word of God says. It says Amen. in the last days it's going to be bad. Oh, yeah. So I already know this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to prepare myself mm -hmm. and be full. Get myself filled with the word of God. Get myself filled with faith. Yes. And get all the fears out. Mm -hmm. So I can step out Amen. With, in faith with passion. Yes. And do what God has called me to do. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Um, I think... Uh, I'll go back to this one thing. It says, uh, Psalms 100 was in verse 4. It says, enter the gates with thanksgiving, thanksgiving. with passion, mm -hmm. amen, <laughs> and enter his course with praise. praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Yes. Uh, sporting events. Hey, you know football's back, college, oh. pros are back. <laughs> Concerts, worthy events. Oh. We shout, we jump up and down and do all kinds of things. We do oh. flips up. Oh. You know, I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't even know you could move like this. <laughs> <laughs> and we come to church and we're so sore, you know. My joints hurting. I got all kinds of accusing of not doing anything. Oh, Jesus. And we're just sitting come by. Right. And you say, okay, pastor, are you going to entertain us today? Okay, praise team. <laughs> no. Are you going to get us moving today? We gotta stir ourselves up. Amen. 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 If Amen. we can do it, if we can do, we do a better job for the world than we do for God. Oh, come and on He's now. the one that went to the cross for us, oh, yeah. and He's the one that paid the price. He says He He paid a debt He didn't know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And now I owe something. Yes. Okay. I need to give myself back to Him. Amen. And say, Lord, <laughs> use me. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord. So, uh, excuse me. <laughs> For being excited. Excuse me for being passive. Go on, honey. Amen. <laughs> so, this is the new day God has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Or you can say, this is the day the Lord has made. I will be passionate. Yes. I will be joyful. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, so yeah. we, we go Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way through Thursday. Uh -huh. And we're so sad. <laughs> You know, and come Friday, even the world knows. Thank God it's Friday. Oh, <laughs> they rejoice when Friday comes around. Thank God it's Friday. Yes. What about all the other days that yes. you passed up? Right? It's, it's your choice. Amen. Amen. Passionate about a new day to serve oh. Him. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Amen. If you make up your mind, prepare yourself to. And let him know, Lord, I'm doing this under you. Yes. I'm on this mission for you. Yes. I'm here to serve you, Lord. Amen. So when you hit the door and you go out into the world, <laughs> ah. the people won't be able to knock you off. Yes. Amen. Then people won't be able to stop you. Yeah. Because I'm excited. I'm doing this unto the Lord. Amen. Uh -huh. I'm not just waiting for men's approval. I'm not waiting for world approval. I'm already being approved by the yes. Most High. And I'm going out there to be a blessing for him. Yes. I'm his mouthpiece yes. on earth. Thank you, Lord. And I'm going out there to bring the good news, not the sad news. Amen. Amen. Yeah. There's no sad news in gospel. That's right. Second Corinthians uh, 5.17. We, we, we all know these things, yes. but that's okay. Just let them in. Therefore, if anyone, if anyone, and if anyone, me, I, put your name there, yes. is in Christ, uh -huh. he or she is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become yes. new. Old is gone, new is in. Be yes. passionate about a new start. Be passionate about a new beginning. Be enthused, excited, zealous yes. for him. Amen? And you know, if you don't renew yourself, and if you don't get the word in you to uh -huh. set you free from the world calling you a nobody, mm. the world calling you you are not qualified. You know, family, people, friends, 
disqualifying you and saying, you know, you're no good. You don't know anything. You can't do anything. You don't know nothing. But God has already called you and qualified yes. you and equipped you to be a winner, to be a yeah. champion for him. All we need to do is just be strong and Amen. get full of him and go Amen. out and be a blessing. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus is our greatest example of the living, passionate life. Mm. In Matthew 20 and 28, it says this, that just as the Son of Man did not come to be, to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Yeah. With passion. The passion yeah. of the Christ. Uh -huh. He came. You know, he could have told his father, I don't want to go back with them people. Huh. I want to stay in heaven and just be nice and be, be, be happy. But he came to serve. If Jesus came to serve, uh -huh. who are we? That's right. We are to serve. And he gave his life for us. We owe him. We yeah. belong to him. He paid he paid the price. Mm -hmm. We he owe we owe excuse me. We're his. Yeah. <laughs> We're his. That's so it. we give ourselves to him. <laughs> so surrender yourself. Commit yourself to serving him. Amen. Says, if Jesus can do it, so can I. Yes, Amen. Thank you. Mark 11, uh, excuse me, Mark uh, 10, 45, the same thing in the NIV says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, right. but to serve and to give his life oh. as a ransom for many. Again, yeah. uh -huh. with passion. You're going to hear this a whole lot. Uh -huh. With passion. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Colossians uh, 3 and 20, 23 through 24 says this. And you can mark these down and you can go and read them for yourself. Um, you know, you might have a different translation, but it's okay. Sometimes go, you know, read it from different translations mm -hmm. so you can get it all. Uh, this is the uh, New King James. It says, whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men. If you go around trying to serve people out of your strength, you ain't going to make it. That's right. You need him. Lord, I'm doing Amen. this under you. I need you, <laughs> and I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. We're his body on earth. He's the head, we're the body. Yes. And we're going somewhere to happen for him. Yeah. Amen. We're on a mission. Yes. And we're going to fulfill a mission if we have him. We have his strength. We have his word in us. Yes. And we got to release the word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When you release the word, it, it, it'll accomplish what it's set yes. out to do. Yes. Knowing, verse 24, and knowing that from God, from the Lord, you will receive mm -hmm. the reward of inheritance for you serve the Lord Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. You serve with passion. Yeah. The Lord Christ. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hebrews ten. Uh, Hebrews ten. Uh, Six ten. New King James. For God is not unjust to forget uh -huh. your works with passion yes. and labors of love which you have shown towards His name, That's right. in that you have ministered to the saints yes. and do minister. Amen. People will see and they'll talk about you. And yeah. sometimes they may not say anything. Mm -hmm. But I'm preparing myself. When people say, you know, I see Christ in her. Mm -hmm. I see Christ in him. And they'll say it. Amen. And Lord, I'm preparing myself. They may be jealous and just tell you, I don't want to hear this. Mm -hmm. But a seed was sown. If yes. they heard it, there was a seed that was sown. And, they, and God's going to see to it. That seed is watered. When you water a seed, it's going to grow. Yes. And Lord, you may not never see it happen, but that seed is going to grow and salvation is coming. Yes. God's going to see to it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. God. All you have to do is deliver the word. Yes. Amen. Uh, <laughs> praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Ephesians 6, 7, and 8. New Living Translation says, Work with enthusiasm. Huh. Work with passion, with excitement, with zeal, uh -huh. as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember yes. that the Lord will reward each one of us mm -hmm. the good we do, whether we're uh, slaves or free. Yeah. God, he's going to reward you. Mm -hmm. But you're doing it under him again, you know, because <laughs> if you don't renew your mind, mm -hmm. you're going to go for black. Remember, you're three part B and you have yes. spirit. You feed the word on the fold with the word of God. And you have a a, a mind. I'm just kidding. You have a soul, mind, will, and emotions. Mm -hmm. And you have a flesh or the body. Mm -hmm. And your spirit, you feed the word of God. Mm -hmm. And your soul, you feed 
the word of God, renew your mind with the word of God, and your, your flesh, you got to crucify. Oh. If you don't do those things, mm. when they start talking about you and saying things about you, and they will, oh, yeah. you're going to start letting it affect you, mm. and you're going to go by the wayside. Mm. So you got to you keep yourself up and up. Yeah. Keep yeah. yourself full Amen. so there's no room to take none right. of this. And you're doing it unto the Lord and not unto people. Amen. 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 So praise God. Romans 12, 11 says this. <laughs> I like this. The New uh, Life Version says, Do not be lazy, but always work hard with passion. Mm -hmm. Work for the Lord with hearts full of love, Amen. passionately for Him. Yeah. No slack. <laughs> we love the world uh -huh. or other things with passion more than God. Mm. We got to be careful, mm. you know, because He says He's a jealous God. Yeah. You know, if you're going to serve Him, commit yourself to yes. Him fully. Surrender yourself to him, mm -hmm. you know, and have no other gods besides him. Yes. Amen. And he wants to use us. Yes. And we can do all things through him. Yes. So praise God. But he says, do not be lazy. Right. But always work hard uh -huh. with passion. Amen. How many Amen. times you saw him, uh, Jesus, he had a hard day. Mm. But then he says, he has to go and, 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 and meet with the Father. He needed strength. Yes. Amen. He needed strength, just like we need his strength. Yes. Amen. He's our strong tower. We run under him and we're safe. Yeah. So we need him also. We cannot fulfill our mission without him. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 <laughs> so we can't be lazy about it. That's right. So get passionate about the new day, about the new year. Mm -hmm. He gives us. Get passionate about the new things God wants to do through us. Mm -hmm. You know, well, God never talks to me. They said, when was the last time you opened your Bible? Huh. If you spend time in the Word, He'll talk to you. Huh. Amen. Right. We need to open it up, not just collect dust on the, on the table or wherever you have it hid. It's time to take it out yeah. and use it, you know. The, right. the devil ain't afraid of the Bible. He's afraid of how much of the Bible you have in you yeah. and how much of the Word That's is right. coming out of you. That's, right. That's what he's afraid of. When you take authority and say, hey, <laughs> you ain't going to have me on the run anymore. I'm going to put you on the run. Yeah. Amen. It's time to take authority. Right. Amen. And be the child of God that you, that, 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 that you are. Yes. Amen. Beware. Oh, <laughs> of course, beware of. <laughs> There's always beware of. Mm. Passion killers. Oh, my. Dream killers. Oh, yeah. Mission killers. Oh, <laughs> People are things. Mm. People are things. Distractions that mm. steal your love. Your joy, your peace. Uh -huh. <laughs> they steal your smile. You know that smile? <laughs> it's very important. Oh, yes. <laughs> Even the enemy hates it. Oh, yeah. They want to see you frown. Uh -huh. Because you know what? You're going through some bad times. Let me tell you what I'm going through. Oh, and they want to come just dump on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, before they finish uh -huh. dumping on you and say, wait, you know, let me let me tell you how you can solve this. Uh -huh. Let me tell you about my God. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you about the good news. Amen. Yes. And give it all these things. He says, cast all your cares, yes. all your anxieties, all yes. your worries on me because I yes. care for you. Yes. Right. And you can have the same thing yes. and have a smile on your face Amen. and a pep in your step and it's stirred up for Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on now. John 10, 10 says what? The, the enemy, the thief comes to Steal, steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. Jesus says, I've come that they might have life and have yeah. it more abundantly. Yeah. Amen. Well, I was going to tell you a quick joke on uh, how I got my name. <laughs> Mom told dad, was having a, she was having a girl. He says, no way, Jose. <laughs> We're having <Hey>. a boy. <laughs> so Jose came out. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, you are <laughs> You're supposed to laugh. Man. <laughs> So he came and we might have life and life more abundantly. Renew your mind. Replace the bad thoughts with the word of God. You know what? The bad thoughts will come. Yeah. Enemy knows this. The bad thoughts will come. The bad things will come. But you're to renew your mind. You know what the word of God says. So now give yourself a spiritual bath of your mind and get it all straightened out and say, wait a minute, that's not what the word of God says. Because you know, when you have these thoughts, Pretty soon you start agreeing with that. Yeah, I don't feel so good. 
yeah, that person is bad. Or yes, you start agreeing with those negative thoughts. Uh -huh. So you got to renew your mind, get those negative things out of you, mm -hmm. and, and start believing what the Word of God says right. and doing what the right. Word of God says, not what if that thought is there. Say, mm -mm, I need to renew this. Mm -hmm. I need to renew my mind right now. Mm -hmm. Get replace those bad thoughts with the Word of God. Yes. Control your tongue. Mm -hmm. it says the hardest thing to tame. Yeah. Amen. Control your tongue is same as saying control your words. Mm -hmm. Control your words. I couldn't help myself. Yeah, well, yeah. you just sowed a whole bunch of bad seeds. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do now? Mm -hmm. Speak faithful words. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Yes. Thank Lord. Change the stinking mm -hmm. thinking from oh, negative Lord. to positive. Yes. Right. <laughs> let go of hurts. Mm -hmm. Let go of guilt. Let go of griefs. And let go of grudges. Yes. Dead memories or anything that tries to hold you back. Mm -hmm. All these things. The enemy is going to put people, he's going to put <laughs> family people, oh, yeah. <laughs> all kind of distractions is going to hold you back. Mm -hmm. You need to know this. Mm -hmm. This is stopping me. This is trying to stop me. This mm -hmm. is trying to pull me back. Mm -hmm. I need to go forward. Yes. Amen. He says, we got to press on. Yes. Yeah. We got to press yeah. on. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. We're in God's army. You know, as soldiers for Jesus, we press on. We don't stop. That's right. Amen. We, we got to press on. So let go of the hurts, the guilt, the griefs, and the grudges, bad memories, mm -hmm. or anything that tries to stop you. We got to go forward, not backwards. Amen. We got to press on. Yes. yes. Beware of the company you keep. Oh, I've told you this so many times. You know, I asked the Lord, I need your help, Lord. And I prayed, God, uh, for the Lord, take enemy away from me. Mm -hmm. Take all these enemies from me. And he, I started losing friends. Mm -hmm. I started, <laughs> my company started changing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if he takes it from me, let it go. Don't go back and take it back. Amen. All right. if, he, if, he, if he releases them and, and takes them off of your life, no. let them go. Let them go. Amen. Amen. Remember, give no place to the devil. That's right. Amen. We must keep our new self. What I mean by new self is the new creatures in Christ. Yes. We must keep our new selves yes. fired up, stirred up uh -huh. with a passion for God as we serve him on a daily basis. Amen. On a daily basis, stir yourself up. Yes. Get in the word. <laughs> stir yourself up. Say, you know, I don't feel so good. I don't feel so stirred up. Go get in stir yourself up. Amen. Get it all stirred up. See, <laughs> I can do all things through Christ. You know, hey, when you start Amen. feeling this way. I'm a champion. I'm a, I'm a winner for God. Yes. I'm an overcomer. Yes, you are. When you start getting, letting the word get in you, it's going to mm -hmm. come out of you. Yes. We got to let it out. Amen. Yeah. So stir yourself up. Yes. <laughs> Somebody's going to get that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get or stay passionate for Him. Stop the pity parties. Oh boy. Me, myself, and I are the only ones that ever show up. Mm. <laughs> Quit inviting them. <laughs> Quit having them. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Oh, you're a new person. You're a new creature in Christ. Yes. Forget the past. Uh -huh. You know, I'm a nobody. Uh, I can't do nothing. Mm. Well, you can do something. You know what? Yes. If you're still here in this world, that means God has a mission for you. That's right. And you best way to, to, to fulfill that mission is to get on surrender yourself to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Get off the throne and put him on the throne. Yes. And yes. you will fulfill what That's God has right. called you to do. Mm -hmm. And we all have something to do. Yeah. You know, I told you about the physical body. Every little part in this body mm -hmm. has a function. Yes. Amen. God gave him a function. Yes. Some you see, some you don't see. That's right. Whether it's big or small, it doesn't matter. You still doing the work of God. Yes. And when you do the work of God, he'll not forget about you. Yes, Amen. Yes. But yes. we're the body of Christ and we yes. work together in unity. Uh -huh. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm preaching better than amen in the now. Right, <laughs> Stop the oh poor me attitudes. Oh, You're God. a winner. Act that way. Amen. I'm a winner for God. Amen. Stop saying life is so unfair to me. I'm so unlucky. Luck has nothing to do with it. Amen. Amen. You're a child of God. You're blessed. Mm -hmm. This shouldn't even be in your vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you know you start hanging with the world, you start talking this way. Mm 
you know, you start hanging out with skunks, guess what? Yes, <laughs> you don't smell crazy. like one. <laughs> so be careful. Love shouldn't even be in a believer's vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Change the way we speak. Faith filled words, amen? Mm -hmm. I think we have a list of whole things of uh, say so's over here. <laughs> say, say these things to yourself. I'm yes. aware. I'm a champion. I'm a child of God. I'm an overcomer. Yes. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens yes. me. Amen. 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 Start speaking the word of God. God's word says, I can do all things through Christ. Yes. Not because I'm lucky, but because I'm blessed by the best. Amen. Amen. Whew. Hallelujah. Amen. That's some shouting clothes. Where's your shouting clothes yes. at? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. If bad things happen, check your Christian walk. Or mm -hmm. check your walk. Check your words. Check your actions. <laughs> check for sin. You know, we left the door open for Satan to come in. Uh -huh. And you check and you say, oh, wow, Lord, I confess, I repent, mm -hmm. and close the door. Mm -hmm. Amen. Admit it, quit it, and, mm -hmm. and press on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hallelujah. Passion is, and I'm glad you asked. Mm -hmm. Passion is what mobilized the body of Christ, the church, and their action. Yeah. That's what mobilized you on a daily basis. Amen. Passion. The passion of the Christ. Mm. He's our greatest example. You know, get yourself <laughs> passionate about him. Amen. And doing and serving him. Passion is what caused the apostles to boldly go where Jesus told them to go. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go there. Let's go oh, to uh, Mark 16. We oh. read it all the time, but that's okay. Oh. Mark 16. In verse 16, uh, 15. And Jesus is about ready to be taken up. Mark 16? Uh, Mark, Mark chapter 16, uh, uh -huh. 16, verses 15. Uh, we'll read it all the way through. To the 20. All right. Are you there? And he said unto them, says, you, <laughs> you put your name there, okay? Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mm. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, and he that believeth not shall be damned. Mm. 17. And these si signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. Mm. Okay? So, you know, don't don't just say, well, you know, I'll call pastor. Yeah. Or I'll call prophet or whatever, you know, apostle so and so. And they'll come, you know, and they can do this. No, you are it. Right. Amen. You know, you are it. You got to do this because he says you can do this. Yes. And these signs shall follow them. And you can scratch them right off of there. Uh -huh. And just put your name. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You that believe in my name uh, shall cast out devils, mm -hmm. they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. That's right. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they will stay sick. No. Oh, they shall recover. Yes. They shall recover. Amen. So, you don't have to <laughs> wait for pastor to come and lay hands. They call me and I'll go, but you lay hands on the yes. sick, and they shall recover. You know what? If nobody else around... <laughs> You lay hands on yourself. Yes, amen. <laughs> Lord, this body, you created this body. I'm laying hands on this body. My body's saying this, but I'm not receiving it. That's right. I'm laying hands by Jesus Christ. I'm healed. Yes. Amen. So whatever yes. there has to go. Praise God. Woo, yes. Hallelujah. Where's that shouting close? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Passion is what cause Christ to spend late hours preparing to complete his mission by yeah. passionately spending time with the Father. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> he went to the Father several times and he says, <coughs> is there any way we can get this cup to just pass by, you know? Mm -hmm. Is yeah. there any other way to do this? He was human. Mm -hmm. Amen, he was human. That was his human part saying, <laughs> Father, is there any other way to do this? Mm -hmm. You know? I said, a lot of people say, you know, well, he's son of God, so he has all these extra powers and things. Yeah. And, you say, Father, can we do this another way? <laughs> so he spent time with him. Passion is what takes the normal born-again believer and turn him into, or her, into a supernatural, passionate believer. Mm -hmm. On fire and sold out for God yes. and ready to complete his or her mission. Ready for action. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what, what scares the devil the most is when you wake up in the morning and you say, good morning, Father, I'm ready for mm -hmm. action. 
he disappears. <laughs> He's gone. He don't want to be around. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Ready for action. Woo. Hallelujah. Mark 20, uh, excuse me, Mark uh, uh, 12 and 30 says this, New Living Translation. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, yes. all your soul, yes. and all your mind, all and mind. all your strength. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise, uh, praise God. God. Thank you, Lord. Nothing matters more than having him number one in your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Matthew 6.33 says that we're to serve him, seek him first. Seek first the kingdom of God, yes. his righteousness, and all these other things shall be right. added on you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So start your new day with passion yes. and battle ready. Priority is in order with loving him passionately. Nothing else matters in life if you don't love God passionately. Mm. God doesn't want you to love him with half-heartedly or second best. He wants you to love him with all your heart, yes. with all your soul, with all your mind, and all your strength. Just like Mark 12, 30 says. All means all. All, <laughs> all means all. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to try to finish this today. We'll finish it next week. So Jesus is saying, I want you to live passionately for him. Yes. Jesus, our greatest example, yes. live the greatest life passionately. Yes. Amen. So Amen. he's our example. It tells us in, uh, in Ephesians 5 that we are to be imitators yes. of him. Amen. To imitate him. Mm -hmm. If you want a, a Bible hero, he's our greatest Bible hero. Yes, he Amen. Is. We are to imitate him. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Hmm. So I'm just going to give you a few more things and then we'll call close. Yeah. So passion is getting fired up about serving and obeying him. Passion is getting your blood pumped, excited, motivated. Passion is getting stirred up. Mm -hmm. And you doing this on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Not just once in a while, you know, sometimes right. we, we, we treat God, Jesus, like a spare tire. Uh -huh. <laughs> we put it up. We use it. Once in a while, emergencies, you know, you uh -huh. have a uh, uh, crisis, uh -huh. bad things happen, and you remember, oh, yeah, there's a Jesus. We bring him out, you know, when it's, it's crisis time. We, we can't oh, treat him that way. We oh, can't yeah. treat him <laughs> secondhand. We got to mm -hmm. treat him passionately all the time, yes. not just once in a while. We, he, he don't like that. Spare tire uh, treatment That's now. Right. On a daily basis. Yes, amen. Full time. Praise full time. God. Committed. Surrendered. Amen. Yes. And that's what we're to do when we come to Him. Surrender ourselves to Him. Mm -hmm. We are called to be passionate believers for God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so praise God. We're very close right there. And uh, amen. we'll uh, continue with this next week. Mm 